I know a lot of people are going to clown the Cavs for needing seven games to beat a really young and inexperienced Orlando Magic team. I know a lot of people are going to say how nobody really cared about that series. It was the NBA TV matchup. It's just, you know, whoever's the winner is, is just going to get spanked by Boston. So who really cares? But like, I want to take a different route. I actually want to give Cleveland some credit because if you watch that game, you saw that the, they went down 18 points in the second quarter. And it was, it was feeling really really bad like five alarm bad where it's like you're thinking are they really gonna not only lose at home in a game seven but to be blown out by this super young inexperienced team you're talking about two massively disappointing playoffs back-to-back -back years where they get spanked by the knicks last year in five games overwhelmed lights too bright and then they come in they literally duck a higher seed to to, to force themselves into what seemed like a favorable matchup and now they're gonna lose on their home court with barely putting up a fight. Fans were booing. You're thinking coaches are gonna get fired. Players are gonna get traded. Donovan Mitchell's 100% out of there. Like it was really feeling bad. And then, as you probably know, they came back to win. And it was very impressive because in, in mounting that comeback and eventually winning by double digits, you saw some of the grit and the toughness that they had notably lacked, you know, throughout these playoffs, but also more specifically last year against New York, where the Knicks just absolutely manhandled them, were more physical, were more intimidating, all that stuff. And, and that was something Cleveland lacked. And you watch how Donovan Mitchell in particular showed that toughness, where first of all, let's just give him credit. Incredible performance, great back-to-back -back games, 50 points in game six, obviously came in the loss. But then he had 39 points, nine rebounds, five assists. Uh, not so efficient, 11 or 27 from the field, but 15 to 17 from the free throw line. This dude, you know, it's funny for all this talk about how Donovan Mitchell is probably going to want to ask out. He's probably not going to sign an extension. This dude really wanted to win this game. I mean, he was relentlessly attacking the basket and you saw multiple times, whether it was after a layup or even after getting fouled or even after a missed shot, this dude was livid. He was hyping up the crowd, hyping up himself, just really seemed to want this game and so that didn't really seem like you know the actions of a guy who's already on his way out and and it, it was it was impressive not just because of the stats and not just because of the comeback because it showed that resiliency that cleveland lacks where like you get punched in the face what are you going to do how are you going to respond they didn't respond so well to new york last year it's been very back and forth against orlando in these playoffs and now obviously you go big you go down big in game seven it, it would have been so easy for them to just roll over and be like well that's it, that's the series. We just don't have it, it's the better team. But like, they fought back. They really went out and they took that game. And I think it was a really impressive quality for this team to show, especially when you also consider that they were missing Jared Allen for the third straight game as he was dealing with a rib injury. So just would have been very easy for them to roll over, especially after going down big, but they didn't. And I give, you know, it's very easy to clown them for all the reasons that some people probably are. But like, I, I do want to give them credit because they fought back and because they won. And what is that going to mean for the next series against Boston? I don't know, but if nothing else, it was a really impressive showing of fight and determination that I think deserves to be acknowledged as such.